What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So today we have some 7 star rank 2 bullseye gameplay. We got him as a Sig 200 as well. And first off, we're going to be going in against Winter Soldier in of Legends without any synergies. And up next, we're going to add some bleed synergies that are going to increase our damage by quite a bit. So first off, what I want to do is do medium light mediums for the most part. Build up my cruelties, get 10 as fast as possible. We got our uh, uh, killer instinct as well. So now we're going to take the hit from his basic attacks and pop our special to get that fury. But I want to get closer to my next special one before I do that. Might as well throw the relic. Now we can bait a special. Or we don't need to actually. Like if he doesn't throw it. Okay, that's fine. And then I want to get hit here. Pop my special too. Get that fury. There we go. Got that perfect release. Awesome. Get a nice fury. Maybe I can pop a special one. Right here so I can get that bleed potency. There we go. Get that fury. Some nice bleed damage. He's basically like 50%. So we just got to do this one more time. And with that fury, man, our basic attacks hit really, really hard. It's really nice. We also got that Black Panther Relic, which is great because the guaranteed critical hits. It does help out a ton. We have two dialed in passes, which is nice. That increases our cruelty potency. They max out at five. Okay, I want to get hit here. There we go. Clean. Try and hit that for release. There we go. And then I'm gonna pop a special one since we got that fury. And he's almost dead, man. 4% HP. Basics should be. Yeah. That's not bad. I mean, this is 7 star rank 2, obviously. And we know Bullseye is, like, not made for, you know, longer fights. Because his damage is not the best. Let's go ahead and check this uh, Captain Marvel. This might be better. I'm going to try and get those cruelties. Uh, that cruelty uh, buff as well when I trigger decks. Right here. And potentially not get hit as well. That could be nice. Okay, got almost 10 cruelties. Refresh that buff cruelty. Let's go. See if she can throw the special. Oh, I did not mean to do that, but that's fine. Actually, the killer instinct saved me there because I did not want to get hit. That wasn't intentional, so he kind of saved me. <laughs> nice. Okay, I think I'm going to go for a special two again. Just change up the rotation a bit. See if this is better. Try and get hit here. There we go. Pop that. Refresh the bleed vol because it doesn't stack. And we did not hit the release, which means we lost a dialian passive, unfortunately. So that's gonna cost me a bit. Now I'm gonna go for a special one. Maximize the bleeds since I got the bleed vulnerability, and then I can go for another special one, maybe. No, I thought I got hit there. That's okay. The damage, at least, the bleed damage goes, like, through the block. That's a, that's one of the reasons why he's so OP is on the defender as well. But, uh, yeah. I mean, that ain't too bad. I, I played this fight really bad. This actually might be faster than Winter Soldier. That wasn't terrible. Like, Winter Soldier was a minute and 39. This was a minute and 31. That was actually a little bit better. Okay. Well, now... We are going to add in those bleed synergies and you're going to see much, much better damage, like quite a bit. So the synergies are uh, this Black Panther, where is the Civil War? So it's first Hawkeye. We're going to find the six star Hawkeye. Because he also gives us this. Dialed in passives increase the duration of their associated effects by another 3%, which is great. Uh, that should increase our cruelties. And then we're going to find the six star Black Panther Civil War. Need to find the five star and then the four star. Where is he? Yep, there he is. And there he is. So those guys give us 25% bleed damage. So this actually works. It counts as bleed damage for Bullseye. I did test that before uh, recording this video. And uh, also, I do not have deep wounds active. Just because Deep Wound says 
Um, and as you can see, it says bleed debuffs. Your jump is afflicted to last 0.5. So I don't think this works. That's why I don't have deep wounds up here. Uh, but we are going to test out recoil after this. So we're going to go ahead and fight uh, this Winter Shoulder one more time. And then I want to see the damage with suicides as well. Because this guy actually has a good ability that can purify suicides. Make him a little bit suicide friendly. But let's see if we can notice like big difference on the bleed damage. I think I already noticed some difference. Even without like maxed cruelties. And without the fury. There we go. Okay. Okay, so I want to get hit here. Not with the special though. Wait. Okay, throw it. Or not throw it. Hit me. <laughs> Come on. There we go. It's a cool special too, man. We got that perfect release. Let's pop that special one with that fury. Oh yeah, that bleed damage is quite a bit, bro. Yeah, 5k on that last hit because it triggers double. That's quite a bit, man. Yeah, that's definitely, definitely a big, big difference, I would say. I think I should honestly go for another special one. Yeah, since we got the bleed ball, let's start build it, like building up those perfect releases. It's the best thing I can do. I think. Now I probably need to go for another special two since we lost the bleed ball. That helps a ton. And since I don't have the killer instinct, I'm not going to go for a special one. Let's just get it after the next special. Okay, we're going to pop the relic. Get that damage in. Physical ball. And boom. That should be it. Boom. We did not hit the perfect release, but it was good enough. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that was not a big difference. As you can see, 132. Hmm. So I wonder if those bleed synergies actually don't do too much for us. Hmm. Maybe I just haven't figured out, like, the best rotation for Bullseye. But okay, after this fight, we're going to use uh, Suicides. So let's go ahead and fight this Captain Marvel. Let's change up the rotation a bit. I'm going to go for a special one first. Actually, I'm going to go spam special ones here, actually. I want to get my perfect release. And see if this is actually, like... I want to get the dialed in passives and see if this is actually a better way. Because, like, the perfect release increases my potency of the cruelties. And I basically use them all the time. Because I'm always critting, you know? So I just want to... Ah, oh, I really released that. Dang it. That was a waste. I should not be missing those. Okay. I think spam SP1 might actually be faster. Because you also get that fury. Okay. That's it. That's interesting. It's definitely interesting. Nice. That fury is so strong actually. It helps a ton. Let's pop another special one. Gotta refresh that killer instinct as well. There we go. Three dialed in passives. Yeah, I think this is the way. Spam SP ones is the better way to, to use. Oh, well. <laughs> I thought he should hit me with the basic. Okay, well, I messed up the two special ones, but let's see if this actually was faster. It was about the same. Okay, but if I didn't miss those perfect releases, I think. I think it would have been better. Okay, so right now we're gonna actually use suicides and go up against this sentry. There are two sentries. One has like 250k HP or like a little bit less, I think. 206, okay. And then the next one has like 560. And after those two sentries, we're gonna actually use boost as well. We're gonna see the maximum damage of bullseye. So if I throw a heavy, I should be able to... Yeah, I purified both of them. Okay. So that's it, man. We basically got the suicide damage and we're not taking. That's crazy. So, I mean, I think with Bullseye here, we gotta go for a special too. Man, this is going so fast. Okay, yeah, this is... This is a huge difference. This is like a 20 second fight. We barely lost any health. 
Okay, this guy is a beast with suicides. 24 seconds. Okay. I believe this sentry here, he actually might die from a special 2 and a special 1. Like, that was that was a lot of damage, man. Let's see if we can purify that. We did not. We gotta do that again. There's a 50% chance. There we go. Both of them are gone again. That's crazy. <laughs> That's so good. And it's almost like I got the Fury. Like, my damage is, is so, so high. Without even that Fury. I want to see what that special 2 does. How much it does. Come on. There we go. Let's beat this. Or hit me. Perfect. Get that Fury. That's some nice damage. Perfect release. 20,000. Oh, yeah. Let's pop that special one with the Fury. Yeah, dude. I mean, this is like... We almost took him down. Like, not almost took him down, but he had like 30% after that rotation. I think this is pretty good, man. For 560,000 uh, HP this guy had. Yeah, I think I like, I like this guy a lot better with suicides. Obviously. <laughs> He's a lot better. Okay. Now we're gonna see how well he does against this Captain America for for like 9 million HP. We're not gonna do the whole fight, obviously, because it's gonna take forever, because this guy is not meant to be used for those longer fights. But let's see, man. Max boost, class advantage, suicides. This is basically taking him to his limits. Okay, so we're gonna go add in some boost. We're gonna go for that 20%. And also, 30% attack. Yeah, we don't need the HP, so... Doesn't really matter, just only use them for attack. Doesn't show that I have them on, though. Okay, I do have them on, though. <laughs> okay. So I guess we're, we'll see how that goes. Gotta purify the suicides first, though. There goes one. Gotta keep doing it for the next one. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So I'm definitely gonna go for the special two here, see how much bleed damage we can get. I think those longer fights, you wanna go for the special two though. Okay, let's get hit here. Nice. So I definitely wanna get all of those perfect releases if I can. Like get all, oh sorry, uh, dial in passives. Just because I wanna get like the maximum critical potency, cruelty potency. That's some good damage on that special one, man. Jesus, 15k. Okay, so we're gonna get hit here by a special three. I don't think we're gonna die, though. That's fine. Pop that without the fear, that's fine. Late release, that's not fine, though. Dang it. Because, like, when I miss one... I basically lose a dialed in passive, which kind of sucks. Let's pop the relic. The relic actually refreshes your cooldown on the killer instinct, which is great, actually. Okay, so I guess we're gonna play here until we die. See how much damage we can take and how much time. Come on. Throw it. Throw it. He does not want to throw it. Yeah, gotta go for special two now. But he does not want to throw his specials, man. Come on. Don't be like that, Captain. There we go. Get some nice mediums in. Okay, throw it. Nice. So satisfying to see those guaranteed crits, man. So satisfying. Let's pop that. We almost have five dialed in passives. And you can see the critical damage going up, man. Like 18k with the mediums. Oh my goodness. So much damage. Oh, I thought he threw a special there. Or I thought he threw a combo at me. Okay, let's do the fifth one, man. There we go. Fifth dialed in passive. Now the damage... Oh, yeah. The damage is a lot. Bleed damage isn't too much. But, man, the basic damage is quite a bit. So let's go for a special two. So we basically got like 15k meters right there, which we were all like built up. Crazy. Let's 
spade that out. Go for my own special too after this. Come on, man. Good thing is I can refresh my cruelties even through the block, which is great. Okay, let's get hit here. There we go. Nice. 32,000? Oh, man. Nice. Dude, 11,000 of that bleed damage. That was quite a bit, though. Dude, I like this guy when he's all built up with all the dialed in passives. Like, it's so satisfying seeing those numbers. It's basically like guaranteed damage. Like, you're not gonna drop your damage somehow. Crazy. But it's not really like the best way to use him with suicides, obviously. Like, you don't want to use him in those type of fights. It's like, you're gonna die from recoils like I will in a second here. But let's get another special 2 in. A nice fury. Boom, 31k. Pop the SP1. It's a nice little rotation. Clean. I love how the the relic hits actually refresh your cooldown on the killer instinct. Because that that actually Black Panther Relic has a lot of hits, so it definitely helps. And look at that damage in the block, man. Holy. This is Captain America, and I'm hitting him for like 7,000 in the block. That's quite a bit. Yeah, look at that. Holy, I can't just hit his, hit his block. Just do it like that. Let's go. One more SP2. 32k. SP1. He reminds me of like Spider-Man where you throw your special 2 and then after the special 2 and f during the special 2 you actually have your damage. That's basically what this guy does with his fury. Like you get your fury by throwing your, your special with the killer instinct. And uh, yeah, just get your damage that way. So let's throw one more SP2 and it's gonna be over for, uh, for us <laughs> because recalls. We're gonna take him like almost 50%. Let's see how fast. Okay, we we're gonna have decent damage after this, but let's say we took like half of his health in about five minutes. Yeah, that's not too great. Obviously, that's not too great. Like Hercules can do that, can do that whole fight in I think it took me like five minutes, maybe like five forty seconds. Uh so this guy obviously is not meant to deal a lot of damage. But it's good to know that his damage is quite decent. If you want to ramp him, ramp him up in like longer fights. Because you just literally follow that rotation. Special 2 and then special 1. Try and pop like another special 1 maybe when you got the bleed vault up. But I prefer this guy with suicides quite a bit. Like I think he's going to do his thing in battlegrounds with suicides. Like with suicides you can just throw a heavy if you get like a high sig 1. Maybe a 6 star because 7 star would be tough. But like if you get a high sig 1. He's got a 50% chance to purify half of the debuffs. And as you saw, man, I used it like three times, and two of the times, like, I purified both suicides with the burst with the first heavy. So, and, and then you just get to keep, like, 6% of your damage increase. And, uh, yeah, for most battlegrounds fights, because of this guy's guaranteed critical hits, his damage is already, like, okay. Even at, like, the first combo. Uh, but you always want to do, like, medium, like, medium, play, like, gallon, so you can build up your cruelties. Um, and, uh, yeah, maximize your damage output. So, yeah, man. This guy, I'm happy with what he does. Because he is a really annoying defender. He does not need to be an OP attacker. But it's good to know that, at least with suicides, you can see some good numbers. And if you get those dialed-in passives, you get some nice potency on the cruelties. I don't think that 25% bleed damage for, like, every single Black Panther here helped us. Not too much, basically like 75%. I don't think it helped too much, but uh, I think the perfect release is what helps a lot. Also, if you see here in the cruelty stat focus, it says plus point, you know, zero. And I don't think that's the case. I think this is a bug because I tested it and I, I get like another like 400 damage on my basics with the stat focus on. Uh, so I think this is probably a visual bug. Maybe in the live server that actually is correct. But uh, even if I show you here, you're going to see that it says plus 90, I believe. Yeah, plus 96. So I think it, it works because I tested it. 
Uh, so yeah, definitely recommend this this um, sad focus because you always just crit, so it definitely makes sense to do that. So yeah, man, Bullseye, an OP defender, not gonna lie, especially in this current meta where he's basically stun immune unless you poison or incinerate. His SP1 is undexable, I believe, which means you take some bleed damage, and it's a lot. You can't go in after his specials, you can't go in after his heavy most times. It's really tough to find an opening with this guy. Uh, so that's why in this card meta with like him being stun immune pretty much, it's really tough. I always ban them because I tried fighting them. I know how to fight him, but even if you know how to fight him, you're gonna take some damage. No way. So yeah, man, this guy is really strong as a defender. He doesn't need to be an OP attacker. He's not the worst attacker. He's not the best attacker. He's just on the mid level. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think about Bullseye. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.